Welcome to Lester's Custom Truck Shop. Working on a Grant LT. I was testing it out, taking it apart, getting ready to put the uh, the famous Lescom mods in it. And I noticed that the faceplate still has the protective plastic on it. You guys see that? I peeled it back a little bit. Now it won't stick back down there. But uh, it's got the protective plastic on it. And I was hesitant about uh, putting the decal on. You know, it, there's the, the new decal I got from CMH to put on here. And uh, like I said, I was I was hesitant to peel the plastic off and put it on there. But I got to thinking about it. The decal is going to protect the face too. So... If whoever wins the radio or buys the radio decides that they want to go back to the original face, all they have to do is peel the decal off. So it's going to go on there. That's what it's going to look like. Pretty cool, huh? All right, more to come. Okay. Told you I'd be back. <laughs> Here's the inside of that Galaxy, or Galaxy, that Grant LT untouched well I like to get them like that it does have the uh, dynamic squelch or sound squelch I think they call it the uh, limiters haven't been cut out I mean the radio is just beautiful I like to get them like this and you can see I've taken the ribbon cable and the channel selector out, getting it ready for the adapters. But you can also see that no one's been playing around with the runs. Bottom of the radio is really, really looks nice. I don't think the final or the driver has ever been changed. Beautiful, beautiful radio. Okay, I'm getting ready to get started on it. Uh, meter's in pretty good shape. I hadn't decided if I'm going to leave that in or take it out. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to uh, uh, put a 5304 in here or put a 6404 in here just yet. I haven't decided. Uh, the covers on the radio are in really good condition. Got a piece of tape on it. Got something written on there. I can't can't read what it says now. So it looks like pre pre driver needs pre driver. I think is what that says. Well, the pre driver is in there now. So somebody cut the speaker wires though that that just ugh. why do people do that you know take the time to unsolder the damn things or at least cut them closer to the speaker and anyway morons are a dime a dozen yeah I said that on YouTube but people do stuff like that is in my opinion morons okay I'll uh, get started on it do the diode upgrades to shot keys and uh, do the upgrade to the uh, TR14 TR15 I think they're called Q14 Q15 in the grant but it's the same same thing all right I'll be back. Hello, folks. This is Les at Lescom. Just finished wiring up a LC6404 in a Grant LT. Just listening to uh, some traffic on uh, listening to traffic on 10 meters. Use the scan function to find these guys. 
Bravo, Turn it down a little bit. Uh, of course, the wires look like a rat's nest right now, but that will be taken care of here shortly. Uh, going to tie these up. Just wanted to show you the uh, the radio working on 10 meters. It's, I've got the volume turned almost all the way down. This guy's still booming in here. And got a bad S meter. I'm going to have to replace the S meter. I'll probably replace it with a white face less com meter and put LED lighting behind it. I haven't decided if I'm going to do the blue and red or just put a white LED. Uh, seems like the majority of my customers prefer the white LED instead of the blue and red. You know, it's blue on, on receive and red on transmit. But the theme of this radio is going to be blue. But this is this is an excellent, excellent, excellent radio. The Grant XL and the Grant LT would be the next generation Cobra 148 if Cobra had stayed with Uniden as their manu manufacturer. Uh, these boards, the quality on these boards are excellent. Uh, in fact, they're better than the Philippine 148. And these radios are all made in the Philippines. Uh, this, this is a Grant XL I've got right here. You can see right there, made in the Philippines. Made in the same factory as the Cobra 148 uh, Philippine radios were. Here's one that doesn't have the Lescom board in it. So you can see it a little better. It's the next one I'm going to be working on. I really, really like these Grant XLs and LTs. Um, I like the LT or the Grant XLs better because it's easier for me to modify the switches and stuff up front. These have a light panel um, that lights up the controls around the face. That's what it's going to be. This one going on the one on the LT I'm working on now I mean it looks really neat at night all lit up but uh, you can't put I like to put the use the toggles but because of the way this lighting PC board is you can't mount the toggles so what I've had to do is modify a couple of the switch holes a little bit so that I could use the uh, the momentary switches that I bought for the the new Cobra 148, so I can use those in there. They're momentary as well for the get save and the uh, band up down switch. I was able to get those to work in there. And uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, counter harness already wired up. Hooked up to run a uh, FC390 or FC347, either one. I, I really like these radios. I've added the uh, protection diode uh, and the 3300 microfarad filter cap on the DC input. Now what this protection diode does, a 6 amp diode, is if you hook the cable up backwards, the power cable, so you hook positive to negative, negative to positive, this diode will conduct and what that will do, hopefully, uh, between this diode and the one that's mounted on the board, will blow the fuse in the power cable, giving you an indication that, hey, something's not right here. But it will protect the radio, okay? Uh, the uh, diode itself is made to where that, that when it uh, fails, it shorts. At least that's what I've been told. I've never had one fail, but like, like I said, between this one and the uh, three amp four thousand seven or four amp four thousand seven down there, you'll blow a ten amp fuse. Uh, let's see. I've done the clarifier mod. It's got the uh, little over five up, little over five down. 
And again, uh, these radios are excellent. They're better than the Cobra, the Philippine Cobra 148. Okay, it it basically is the next generation of the one four Philippine 148 board. It uh, that's what if Cobra, like I said, if Cobra had stayed with Uniden and continued having Uniden manufacture their 148s, their Philippine 148s, this is what the new 148 would look like. Okay. They went to uh, smaller resistors all over, and uh, one thing I've heard folks complain about is that they bend the leads of the resistors over, and it's sometimes it's difficult to replace uh, parts like that. But they do that to keep the parts from falling out during wave soldering. Okay, but again, the Grant XL and the Grant X X. I'm, the Grant XL and the Grant LT. <laughs> Don't laugh at my getting tongue tied there. Is uh basically the next generation of Cobra 148, Philippine made, made by Uniden, just like the Cobra Philippine Cobra 148 was, and the Taiwan 148. They're just made in the Philippine factory. Excellent, excellent radio. The next generation Uniden board. Uh, that uses basically the same layout can be found in like the Anytone 5555 and I think the Moss 5000 there's a couple of other ones out there uh, Superstar 6900 the new one SS 6900 I think it's called a CRT SS 6900 all of these radios utilize the next generation of unit and board uh, the layout is very similar to this, but they've went to all SMT components, and uh, they're using a serial PLL in it, along with a uh, processor. Now, you know, so you can change the face and all that other stuff. But it's basically the same board, the same schematic design, circuit design, as the. Uh, Grant XL and Grant LT, which means it has an excellent receiver. Uh, I had an Anytone in here. Uh, in fact, I still got it. I'm thinking about selling it. I'm not sure yet, but uh, it's uh, the receiver on those is just as good, if not better, than these. Okay. The thing about Uniden and their receiver design is that they don't amplify the noise floor like the Ranger radios do. Uh, I'm sure all of you have noticed how damn noisy Ranger made SSB receivers are. Even the AM part of the receiver is noisy. It's because the dual fit uh, first stage amplification that they use also amplifies the noise floor. Okay, if you got a scope and put it on there, you'll see what I'm talking about. But uh, anyway, getting back to this radio here, uh, it should be finished up in a little bit, and uh, we're going to put it on eBay. Okay? All right, seven threes, more to come.